Tuesday and you're watching Tasty Tuesday, the show where it's Tuesday to try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. So today's Tasty Tuesday is a little bit different than most weeks. Usually I am trying out a new recipe and we see if it turns out right and I have Steve taste it and he tells me if it was tasty or not. This week Steve is out of town so I thought I would instead share something with you that I already know is tasty that I've been doing for lunches and is more helpful than experimental. Summer is all about getting into that bikini, you want to look good, I got you girl or boy, I don't care what gender you are in that bikini, you rock it. No hey. So the salad that I'm making today I totally ripped off from Starbucks. It's called the zesty chicken salad at Starbucks. I love it, but it's like ridiculously overpriced. It's like, I don't know, somewhere between six and eight dollars for this tiny little salad. So lately I've been making that salad from home and I've been putting them into little Tupperware so that during lunchtime when I get hungry, I'm working here, I just, I grab a salad instead of grabbing a bag of Doritos, which is the alternative when there is no salad. I'm not really even a salad eater. I just like all the things inside of a salad and this salad is Bombay Sapphire. Let's make this dish. Start by making quinoa. The rest of the salad is pretty much just assembly, but the quinoa we do have to cook. So one cup of quinoa, two cups of water, bring it to a boil, then cover and simmer for 15 minutes. Do it. I have to smell pots before I use them because sometimes when Steve washes them, he does, he washes them. I think this one's good. One cup quinoa. One, oh shit. You didn't go in the pot. You had one job. Whatever. Fun fact. I have a cat named Joe, but his original name was supposed to be Joaquin Wa Phoenix. New pet owners and baby havers, you can have that one. So I got three containers here. These are just Tupperware, Gladware, reusable containers. You can keep using again and again for future salad. I don't work for containers, but I like them. Next, we're gonna do the green part of the salad. My least favorite part of the salad, but it also gets me to eat greens when I don't normally eat greens, because gross, right? They're gross. I don't really trust people that say that they actually like the taste of just greens. They're liars. They're not to be trusted. But anyway, I digress. Get some green part of your salad. I'm doing a baby spring mix with tender baby lettuces. Little baby lettuces. They don't know anything about being grown up lettuces. If you want to chop your own greens, go ahead and chop your own greens. You know, you're not better than me. Next, what Starbucks uses in their salads is these cherry tomatoes. So I got these cherry tomatoes. Pretty straightforward. Do it! Next what Starbucks says is they use roasted corn in their salad. I don't know how to roast corn or even how to go about roasting corn. If you know how to roast corn, go ahead and roast your own corn. Go nuts. You're not better than me. We're gonna drain this and then we're gonna add it to our salad. Beacons of hell. Next we're gonna add some black beans, but if you get canned black beans, they come in this like liquid and it's pretty slimy and disgusting. So we're gonna drain them and then rinse them in a colander. Colander. That's what they're called. That's what they're colandered. Beans have been rinsed. I have another cat named Franklin. He's a dark gray cat, and his original name was gonna be Black Bean, but it sounded too much like a racial slur. I'm not sure what race it would be offending, but it did, so I changed it to Franklin. That would never happen. Next, we're gonna add chicken. If you wanna cook your own chicken, go ahead and cook your own chicken. No one's telling you how to live your life. Also, you probably save a lot more money if you cooked your own chicken. I just happen to have these in the refrigerator for sandwiches, so I'm gonna use them instead. Stop yelling at me! So do it. The chunks are kind of chunky, so, um, you know, break them in half into little baby baby chunks to go with the baby lettuce. Help, 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 help. Diets are a lifestyle, not a diet. Jicama. If you've never had jicama before, it's delightful. It's like the stucco of the salad, adding a lot of texture to it. But one thing that Starbucks says that I really like is they have the jicama shredded, so I'm gonna put it in the food processor. That way you can make little baby jicama and have little baby bites for your baby salad. God, I hope I never talk like that when I'm a parent. So I'm gonna put this in the food processor. If you don't have a food processor, you can cut it like a total noob, but I'm not judging you. Do it. Quinoa is done. We gotta fluff it with a fork. That's what it says to do in the quinoa rules. Okay, add that to our salad. Do it. Ooh, quinoa, you're looking good. Or quinoa phoenix. We loved you in that one movie where Scarlett Johansson was a computer and you fell in love with her, but you couldn't see her, but you fell in love with her voice because she's Scarlett Johansson. I totally thought you deserved an Oscar for that, but you didn't even get nominated. What's up with that? So at this point, your salads are pretty much done if you're storing them in the fridge for later eating. However, once you are ready to eat them, you're gonna add the dressing, and if you're me, you're going to add some avocado because why would you not put avocado on everything? It's the most delicious thing ever invented from a tree. So Starbucks has this zesty tomato 
dressing that I can't find anywhere. But I've been using this light lime dressing from Newman's Own and it actually worked really good with this salad. Plus it's probably better for you health wise because we all about that health today girl or boy. I believe Starbucks dressing is made with cream, which is bleh. By the way, I could be wrong about that. This is not a smear campaign for Starbucks. I love you, Starbucks. I'm sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Use whatever dressing you want. Avocado! Are you ready for this salad? Cause it's ready for you. That was my song to avocados about being in my salad. It was a number one hit on the Billboard charts in my house. Ooh, you got a big seed. Wow, look at you, girl. I'm full of sass today. Avocado, I love it, it's great. How do you get your hair so shiny? Avocado, also I don't work for avocados, but you should really think about buying one because they're great. Add that to your salad and you're done. And there it is. Beautiful, lunch, beauty. It's got it all. So that's a salad that I've been digging a lot lately. I've been eating it almost every single day for lunch. It's been helping me be less unhealthy. Thank you Starbucks for letting me steal your ideas. I'm just such a little baby. I just want to squeeze you. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I make new videos Monday through Friday. Subscribe if you haven't already. Your shoulders cut out. You have sexy shoulders. Very revealing. Boys love it. Look mom, I'm eating greens. And not Steve Green. <laughs> Sex.